Good evening, everybody. Let's hit the links. It was a great day for golf as Ottumwa hosted Roosevelt. The teams have split their matches this year. Ottumwa's Matt Walker bounces it off the card path, and it will still stay on the green. Nice effort by last year's state champ. However, he will step up and miss the short putt for the par. It's the Bulldogs, Hoyt Grooms with a nice effort. We will have the final numbers tonight at 10. The Kirksville girls golf team finished second at Chillicothe individually. Serena Berry was second with an 82, while Emily Van Rie was third with an 83. The Atumbo football team will face Marshalltown tomorrow night at homecoming. Last night, it was another type of homecoming as the players visited some of their biggest fans at the Good Samaritan Nursing Home. The Bulldogs were treated to a cookout, and it looks like everybody had a good time. Knox County will face sixth-ranked Milan tomorrow night. It will be one of the top games in the state. Coach Dabney's ha has a good thing going on uh, uh, Milan right now. They're ranked at top ten in the state. Um, have a great back in Aaron Richardson. Um, just um, top to bottom, it's a great roster and it's a great team. And I know we're going to be prepared for everything he has to throw at us. We're both pretty similar. If you really sat down and watched us, they may be in the gun a little bit more than we are. The team that wants that executes offensively, blocks up front and tackles, and really you can see that for any football game for that matter. Putnam County hits the road to face Schuyler County tomorrow night. The Midgets like their chances if they just play like they practice. I don't expect kids to play at a higher level in a game than what they do at practice. And, and when you look at things that way, I, I think that uh, uh, your chances of being successful becomes better. Don't forget you can see the Iowa-Minnesota game. Saturday afternoon at 2.30 on KTVO's. The Kirksville softball team heads to Hickman for a two-day tournament starting tomorrow. It's a chance for the Tigers to play up and get ready for districts. Well, it's nerve-wracking definitely to play those bigger schools, but I love playing tough competition. It makes the games more interesting and... Um, I'm really looking forward to like having the chance to strike some people out that are really good. It'll be good to see some newer teams that we normally don't see in conference. I think it'll be a good test to see where we're at before we hit districts. In high school tennis, it's Kirksville and Hickman. It's Kirksville's Audrey Wishman in the far court. She would get the point against Michaela Sadoff. We will have the final numbers on the late sports.